A somber moment for a lot of our area today as many of us honor the lives of fallen Baton Rouge police officers, Sergeant David Poirier and Corporal Scotty Canizero. Good evening to you friends, Greg and Liz here with you. The officers died in that helicopter crash over the weekend, but today everyone had a chance to honor and thank them for their many years of service. We join our Brianne Bazet, who is live at BRPD headquarters where the memorial pr procession took place earlier today. Bree, good evening. Good evening, guys. So over here at the Baton Rouge Police Headquarters, Sergeant David Portier and Scotty, uh, Corporal Scotty Cannon Zero were known as much more than just police officers. They were known as the men up in the sky watching over everyone. I spoke with some police officers today. They say that these two men were always dedicated their, to their community, and they say that their legacies will not be forgotten, even though they are not here with us. It's a moment of grief, but also a time to honor. Detail, stand by. Detail, present full. As Sergeant David Poirier and Corporal Scotty Canizero began one of their last journeys. Just an honor to be able to respect these gentlemen for their service. Friends and strangers watched from the roadside as the officers were escorted from Port Allen across the old Mississippi River Bridge to Baton Rouge Police Headquarters before being taken to area funeral homes. It's not going to be an easy road, but just stay strong and know that there are people here supporting you and caring for you and there. All you have to do is reach out if you need. Outside police headquarters by a memorial that will soon see two more names. Members of law enforcement salute their brothers in blue. And I'm sure for the family, it was certainly heartwarming uh, to see so many people from our community come uh, by VRPD and perhaps lined up across Airline Highway uh, as we pay tribute to these two officers. These guys are involved, were, were involved in so many presentations and touched the hearts of so many community members and kids. And just to hear that and, and their involvement in so many things, it's going to be a great loss uh, to this police department. Canizero had been with the force for 16 years, while Poirier had been with the Baton Rouge Police Department for 17 years. Their final act of service was assisting fellow officers with a vehicle pursuit early Sunday morning before the aircraft crashed in Port Allen. Prayers. Uh, that's what the family is asking for, prayers. Uh, we're going to continue working. Uh, with the family as they go through this difficult time. Sergeant David Portier was taken to the SEAL funeral home in Denham Springs and Corporal Scotty Canizero was taken to Raven Horse on Government Street. Once again, we will continue to keep the families and our thoughts and prayers as we go through this time. Reporting from Baton Rouge Police Headquarters, I'm Brianne Bazette, WAFB 9 News. Liz, Greg. Brianne, thank you. So we're still waiting to learn more about the funeral arrangements for the officers. We'll pass along those details as the family wishes. You can head to our website now if you'd like to perhaps share the full procession today. You can watch that, maybe share it with some friends and family that may not be in town or may have missed it.